What you just saw is one of many short films created by the channel Night Factor Films, who has been making these surreal pieces since 2012. They're very open about the creepy and uncanny nature of their videos, even describing them as nightmare fuel stuff in their channel description. They're very experimental, usually mixing live action footage with strange looking stop motion creatures. One video that showcases this best is Monster from the Lake Floor, uploaded in February 2017. It shows this ugly tentacle monster attacking our main lead, before trying to kill it with a stick. <laughs> Definitely the weirdest video on this channel is a review of a Tor Johnson mask, which has this eerie instrumental playing in the background. There's no other audio, and it just showcases the channel owner swiveling the mask around and showing its creepy facial features. The last 30 seconds are completely silent, adding to the eerie undertone. It's just a really strange collection of videos, though obviously it's just some film student trying out special effects. The channel String Anime uploads a wide variety of animations in multiple different styles. Some are in the style of old 8-bit or 16-bit pixels in order to parody video games and modern culture. Others take a more 3D style, such as in the video BullyTube, which is meant to poke fun at Google censorship. There's also quite a bit of 2D animations in a more crude art style, which he's been doing since about the mid-2000s. Despite all that, his most popular videos happen to be about Spongebob. In 2016, String Anime uploaded the video Spongebob Cave Eaten Alive, which features the titular character running around and gyrating across the screen. The version I'm showing is actually the upscaled version released in 2018. I'm glad, because now I get to see this monstrosity in 1080p. It reminds me a lot of those creepy shitpost animations made by channels like Seinfeld Spitstain. Those are weirdly nostalgic to me, so this was interesting to see. Made around the same time as the video, Patrick Gets in Shape, which was upscaled in 2021. It's a lot more unnerving, as Patrick is portrayed as his gelatinous blobby mess with ragdoll physics. You can just barely see his facial features, with those bulging eyes and crooked teeth. He looks like an old British guy you'd find in some rundown London pub. Anyways, Patrick is trying to get in shape, and runs around his home doing multiple laps. He eventually gets to in shape, and this happens. <coughs> Again, this is a really intriguing channel, and he's been around since 2006, the early days of YouTube. Alessandro Bavari is an experienced animator from Rome with an extensive amount of work featured on his website and YouTube channel. Out of all the channels I mentioned today, I recommend watching him the most. He uploads these brilliantly animated works with a surrealist style to them that I can't match to any others. You probably know him most for the short film Meta Chaos. It was made all the way back in 2010, with it winning a Gold Nika Award at Prix Ars Electronica for Best Animation. That same year, he uploaded it to YouTube, with it gaining him more of a cult following. Ten years later, in 2021, he upscaled it to 1080p, which is what I'll be showing. Though I won't be showing that much footage of it, as I really want you to see the full thing. The link to it will be in the description as always, along with a link to Bavari's website. It's hard to describe what happens in Meta Chaos, as the plot is indiscernible. That seems to be the point though, as many in the comments like speculating on its true meaning. One comments are related to text from HP Lovecraft, while another relates it to experiencing a mental breakdown. It reads, The otherworldly calm in which one is floating blissfully unaware of the utter madness approaching from outside one's medicated mind. Then the fingers of insanity break through those walls, sending oneself crashing into the all-consuming madness where there is no place to hide from the demons for they come from inside your skull. This next video is actually brought to my attention from my friend Gubby's video, Unnerving YouTube Videos That No One Talks About. That'll be linked below, but the video in question is titled, Santa 1991. This is a horror short film uploaded by the channel, My Nusk the Cat, in November 2011. Although, as seen by the title, it's supposed to look like it came from an early 90s VHS tape. It starts with some ominous b-roll as an inappropriate Christmas song plays. <laughs> Yeah, and shit out a present of steamy warm mass. Still blow for Debbie, 
Fish hooks for Fred. Wow, is this sung by a prepubescent Rucka Rucka Ali? It takes almost two minutes for us to see our main character, Santa, played by William H. Nutsack. He stumbles his way down the chimney before aggressively eating the food left out for him. Then Steve, this guy in the crutches, walks down the stairs and gets attacked by Santa. Fake blood is splattered, with Steve screaming in agony. Santa puts him out of his misery before playing of his body. Then Jim walks in, beating the same fate as Steve. Rachel then walks in on this and begins eating his flesh, just like Santa. Merry Christmas! Fuck you! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> and that's it. That's the ending. It's a pretty entertaining short made by a pretty bizarre YouTube channel. The uploader has similarly made videos, some of which date back to 2006. Maybe I'll review another one of these in the next episode. A lot of the videos I've covered tend to be pretty old, usually being from the late 2000s and early 2010s, but this next channel actually began in mid-2023, so it's only half a year ago as I'm making this. It's called Soulbrine, and its visuals remind me of some other channels I've talked about in the past, such as Boysvert and HMR Silence. They're very artsy videos with deep psychological messages that commenters are trying to figure out. For instance, the first video ever uploaded, titled Eyes, shows the gruesome creation of this one-eyed creature. This creature is sort of the main character on the Soulbrine channel, as it pops up in other videos. The next video, titled Speak the MP4 underscore 2022, introduces this new character, who asks the eye creature if it can speak. <laughs> One commenter infers that this relates to someone having a third eye, an eye wide open so to speak. The video, Time Won't Stop You From Dying, shows this man with a clock covering his mouth, approaching a grave, the clock is meant to represent how death will come for us all, and that this person ran out of time. In frustration, the man bangs his head on the grave, realizing that the same thing will happen to him one day too. The video, The End, shows the eye monster in bed, with the other two characters looming over him. They ask it to either end the suffering or suffer from them for an eternity. It seems like he chooses the former, as he points at the horned guy and then kills him. The story of this channel is still forming, though a lot of the content is more on the random side. I'll eventually give an update to this once the story becomes more clear, cause I definitely find it interesting. Okay now let's switch gears from a good YouTube channel to a horrible one. Clay Food ASMR. I fucking hate these sorts of channels, though at the same time I like making fun of them. Many thought these sorts of Elsagate videos died off around 2017, but many still function on obscure corners of YouTube. This one in particular I found off the channel Kluna Tick, which I covered in the previous video. This channel is pretty new, weirdly enough, as it was made in May 2023. Its most popular video has over 2 million views, though of course it's due to having a minion's ass in the thumbnail. Its long ass title reads, Kluna Tick eating special dinner and poor minions, ASMR mukbang, no sound talking. In it, Kluna sticks a needle full of poison inside the minion's ass, it laughs until Kluna cuts off a piece of its ass and loudly chews it. The rest of this video appears as a compilation of his other videos, where he pretends to eat other clay figurines of pop culture icons. You got characters from Squid Game, Poppy's Playtime, Sonic the Hedgehog, Miraculous Ladybug, and that gummy bear. And what I hate the most is how sexual these are, especially the thumbnails. I legitimately find these more disturbing than most videos I covered on this channel, as this person is trying to get kids to watch these fetish videos. I mean, who else is this meant for? No fully functioning adult is sitting down to watch 
Kunatik chews feed Squid Game in the door and eating food, ASMR mukbang no sound talking. Five years ago is when I first mentioned the channel Creepy Shed, a strange cryptic channel with loads of creepy videos. It's been so long since I've done a full look through of it, and I'll definitely do more of these for other channels I talked about so many years ago. Creepy Shed began posting videos all the way back in 2012, of putting three unsettling videos. One is called Mom to AVI. It starts with a hand flicking a dingy light on. We then see this individual with a deformed face. Other clips flash on screen, as we occasionally get closer looks at this person. The music is the most notable thing, with its eerie tone mixing well with this static. The next video is the most disturbing, called Sonda AVI. We see this malformed person with a robotic face, then a painted poster board of a clown, which is why you'll occasionally hear this video under the different name, Clowns. The last video posted in 2012 is called Stopped at AVI, and isn't as notable. It just shows the Shea St. John looking character producing headache inducing noises. I talked about all three of these videos in episode 3 of my old series, Disturbing YouTube Video Slash Channels, which I uploaded on May 11th, 2019. What's peculiar is that only 10 days later, the channel began uploading again. Mind you, the channel had remained dormant for 7 years, and just now decided to upload. This is a similar case to the channel 01A51CD0, which I covered in the second episode. That channel began posting again only a month later, even though it had been dormant for 7 years. Anyways, the first 2019 Creepy Shed video was called Here.AVI, and just shows the camera pointing towards a window to an abandoned looking home. There.AVI just shows this man, whoever he is. The other videos aren't as interesting, just showing strange imagery. The last one, ComeIn.AVI, was uploaded in March 2020. After that, the channel went on hiatus again, until it began posting a new series of videos in 2022. The first one, titled In The The AVI, shows sped up, seemingly AI generated footage. One of those spotted here is Brian Peppers, who, if you know, you know. A lot of these other ones are pretty similar. Short videos showcasing a creepy face of ominous background noises. The latest upload was from March of last year, and I won't be surprised if they start uploading again soon. What you just watched came from a Japanese channel called CC Lemon, which was mainly active over a decade ago. All these videos exist in the uncanny valley, that is to say they're fucking creepy. These videos showcase masks made by Ogawa Studios, who make these really weird rubber masks. What makes these so creepy is the lack of context. It's just some person slowly putting these on with only music playing. I of course won't be playing said music, as it's copyrighted. What I find really interesting is the fact that titles and descriptions started out being in Japanese, but later videos that have them in English. The channel's last video, called Small Melancholy, was uploaded in December 2010. It just shows the channel owner in a costume just sitting there, no music playing, just quaint background noise. It's kind of ominous. You're just waiting for something to happen, even for the person to just move, but they don't. What was the purpose of this video? Is it a goodbye video? The fact that it's been 13 years with no updates on this is what I find so odd. Though most likely this was all made by some weirdo showcasing their fetishes with my main evidence for which being the most popular upload, I eat a small sausage. Back in 2015, I remember seeing this unsettling thumbnail for a Mr. Nightmare. It shows an old man sitting with this life-size doll. Nothing relating to this picture was talked about in the video, which many commented on. It wasn't until years later when more context was given, this all relates to a massive YouTube rabbit hole, centering on the channel Dude Man 2. Dude Man began uploading back in 2007, showcasing a strange life-size stuffed animal with stop-motion animation. Can I buy this red dress? No, honey. It's kind of see-through. No, go watch YouTube or something. Okay, Dude Man. 
but the time these were actually really well produced, but still lingered in the uncanny valley, just like CC Lemon. Dude Man is actually more well known for the photos he posted to 4chan, which piqued their interest. Many wanted to know more, so a subreddit called r slash the guy was created. This led to early investigations, which would spring up again in 2020 by Mudahar of Some Ordinary Gamers. There's a video from YouTuber Olikuz, who did a bit more digging into Dude Man and why he disappeared. It seems like he had a falling out with his business partner, resulting in him losing interest in selling these dolls. Yes, he sold these. His YouTube channel seems like a way to promote them, along with his now defunct website, StuffedCompany.com. These dolls would occasionally be voiced by random women he got off the internet. Despite rumors floating around, there seems to be no evidence that he abandoned his family to pursue this craft. His wife was supportive of this hobby, and so were many others online. And it's actually a wholesome story if you ignore the creepy aspects of it. And yes, he's a furry. He posted multiple videos of him in public wearing his suit, which gives me bad vibes since he's interacting with little kids. Though ignoring that aspect, he never meant any harm. He originally made these dolls to not feel lonely. He hasn't posted anything since 2013, with many in the comments section wishing for his return. Hi, Monique. How you doing today? Hi, dude, man. I have a nasty cold today. Uh, you, you got a yeah. cold today? Oh, okay. Maybe okay, we'll talk later. Man. The website, catholicsaints.net, is a religious website with loads of content to explore. Though I wouldn't bother, it's a pretty sketchy website. It might give you a virus and it's pretty openly homophobic. The video section, labeled under prophecyfilm.com, features many videos, all of which I won't click through because the site is sketchy. Instead, I watch one on YouTube. It was uploaded in 2011 and is titled, God's Wrath in Hell. It's less in the ways of religious messaging and instead gives us an incredibly well done horror short film. We follow Mary, who dies on the way to the hospital. She awakens in a truly unique depiction of hell. It's dark and murky, with Mary hearing the sounds of loud screams. A man is dumped into this pit, with a deformed monster torturing him. Mary is then captured, and sees more of hell on her way to a prison cell. She too gets tortured with the mouth guard barely able to hold back her screams of agony. It ends with a Bible quote, reading, Do not fear the one who can kill only the body. Fear the one who can kill both the body and soul in hell.